Like, you've been around for a long time. You've seen you know, lots of different things. This has been a turbulent season. Like, in your mind, where did things go wrong? What happened to kind of go from a team that's doing so well to, to what we have now? Yeah, I think it's pretty apparent that the turning point in our season was uh, um, someone on Bruce's staff and, you know, just uh, scratch that. The turning point of the season was when, you know, Bruce got put on leave and, and, um, and then for those uh, eight weeks, it was in limbo. And we were actually doing all right for those eight weeks. But then once the official resignation happened, I think that's when it fell apart and there was no real leadership um, in the front. And from my experience, when the front office is in shambles, it trickles down to the team and you lose that, that, that confidence with the group, that cohesiveness with the group, because if you want a winning team, you need a winning organization. That's from my experience. Um, when the front office is doing well and the team's doing well, you know, it just feels good. And so once that started to shatter, when once that shattered, um, you could tell how quickly things started to to go downhill from there. Where were the problems in the front office? Um, I don't know. Whoever uh, whoever um, went to the league, I, I, I guess. I mean, did it need to be this way? Did it need to be this way? I mean, I really don't know what happened, so I don't know. But like, for me, I think. That I think we have an HR department, I believe, and so maybe it could have handled within our own HR department. But uh, from my understanding, it was skipped and taken straight to the league. So, I mean, you know, in my experience, things in my career, I've seen things handled in-house, you know, and uh, things don't leave the, the club and you handle things. and. Um, you air your grief and stuff if something's bothering you to the guy who's doing it or some help with someone and and you get stuff handled and the team can go on and become stronger for it. Uh, but the way this was handled, it was um, it was interesting. I mean, because I don't really know what happened, but you know, our, the team suffered because of it. Does this leave a bad taste in your sorry, Sam? Does this leave a bad taste in your mouth? Does this, you know, do you still want to beat New England past this season? Or Me? You know? Yeah, I love it here. I love, I love the the area. I love playing for the club. Um, I'm, I've enjoyed my time here, and yeah, I leave a sour taste in my mouth because, um, you know, I'm out of contract, and so um, I'd like to continue here. And and I really think with this group of players, we could have we could have done something, you know. Um, we we, we could have gotten further than tonight, that's for sure. Um, we could have finished higher in the table. Um, you were second in the league going into the League's Cup. Yeah, we were second in the league going into the League's Cup. And and then after that, we struggled to, to get wins. And, and um, it, was, it became very, very difficult. And I think what, what was the most apparent was that, um, you know, with Bruce, you had a single voice. And you... And you know that um, it's his way, and that's it. You move forward. But after his departure, there became, you know, just this uh, this void, and started to fill up with a lot of voices. And there wasn't that much clarity, and there was we didn't know who to listen to. We didn't know, you know, there was no clear direction and no clear voice. Um, we didn't know who was making decisions. We didn't know anything. And as players, you know, that sounds a bit uncomfortable. Um, Speaking from, like, a roster standpoint, from a game management standpoint, maybe some calls, like, starting lines were coming from maybe Kurt instead of Clint? I mean, that's quite possible. I don't, I don't, I don't know, you know. Can you talk about, like, you, you lost Bruce Arena, Richie takes over for some time, and then they move on from Richie, and you move on from the entire coaching staff. Do you think that that was something that needed to happen to get rid of Richie and, and Dave and Shawry to move on from those individuals to move forward? Say that again? So you, you get rid of, like, Richie, and then Dave and, and Shawry also leave. Like, what, that seemed like a, a really drastic moment. Did that have to happen? Did they have to, Richie, not be 
the head coach and Dave and Charlie not be there as well? Yeah, the, the, those guys didn't work together. Richie and Shari and Dave, they had a really bad relationship and, and uh, they couldn't work together. So I think that's why they cleared house. And I guess just generally, you know, you being a veteran of the league and just soccer in general, have you ever experienced, you know, something like the season and events that, you know, took place? I mean, I've experienced a lot of um, coaching changes. You know, that's normal, right? Like uh, in Mexico, I think I had... Um, three or four different changes in one season. But the way this played out, I've never experienced um, the way this played out. In order for this club to be successful, does everybody have to clear house, I think? Does everybody have to go? I mean, I don't want to clear... I mean, I want to... I'm talking about from a front office, from a front mat, from a front office standpoint. Oh, front office? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Those are those are decisions made by you know other people, and but um. But Richie's still on the payroll, and if he comes back as a coach, does it make it harder for you as a player to play for him? All right, you got it. Good for now. Well, can, can, you can you just clarify one thing? Um, you mentioned there's a lot of voices. Is that the the players being part of that? Is that the front office? Like, what do you mean by a lot of voices making decisions? Um. Yeah, I think top to bottom. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> top to bottom, a lot of voices. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I want a contract next year, guys. I don't know. <laughs> what are you guys trying to do to me? <laughs>